Hello friends, good afternoon and welcome to Edisat Live Lectures. Dear friends, today in philosophy we will be talking about understanding postmodernism. To discuss this topic we have with us our subject expert Dr. Ajay Verma. Dr. Verma is Associate Professor in Center for Philosophy, School of Social Sciences, JNU. Without further ado, I would like to welcome Sir to our studios and request him to start the lecture. Welcome Sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, welcome viewers. Uh, uh, today, we'll be talking about uh, the the idea of postmodernism that has really influenced uh, the various uh, disciplines, uh, uh, you know, in in, in in academia. So, you know, we'll try to understand what exactly is the idea behind post postmodernism, which has uh, so you know, which has so much influenced uh, all the different branches of of, of study. Now, when we look at the uh, word postmodernism, we immediately realize that uh, it, it has something to do with uh, another idea, uh, which is that of postmodernism, uh, which, which is that of uh, modernism. So, in order to understand what uh, we mean uh, by the term postmodernism, we need to have uh, some bit of understanding of what exactly we mean by modernism. So now, in order to understand uh, these uh, two different ideas uh, uh, and you know the kind of relationship these two different ideas uh, you, you know have with each other, uh, we could you know try and trace uh, the history of ideas uh, in in the light of this dialectical relationship that uh, these these. Uh, these two ideas have, which have uh, dominated, uh, you know, the study across disciplines. So now, when we look at uh, some of the earliest, uh, uh, you know, traces of uh, some of the earliest ways of thinking. Uh, uh, you know, whether it's in uh, Greek philosophy or whether it's in Indian philosophy, we find that uh, you know the, the earliest ways of uh, uh, studying uh, you know the, 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 the nature of, of objects, the nature of the world as such, uh, it was uh, done by it was done through observation. Uh, observation of what exists and and so on and so forth, but even before you know it, that that starts to happen. I mean, even before we start relying on human observation and analysis of it and looking for irregularities you know, uh, uh, and and you know disruptions in those regular patterns that we start seeing. Uh, before that, we see, you know the kind of uh, texts that we become available to us. Uh, some of the earliest texts uh, you know that are there, uh, especially from. Uh, when we talk about Greek philosophy, they are in the form of narratives. So, when we look at uh, the Greeks, uh, uh, I mean, one of the earliest pieces of writing is uh, Homer's uh, uh, Iliad and and uh, uh, and uh, Odysseus and and Odyssey. So, these are uh, you know what we call epics. These are uh, grand stories, uh, but you know something special about these stories is that uh, you know they're sort of it, it, it tries to uh, make a statement about it, tries to capture. Uh, it tries to, you know, it makes an effort to understand uh, you know, different aspects of of uh, human situation, human predicament. And, and so on and so forth. So the basic idea that uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to put forth here is that uh, that some of the earliest uh, ways we try to understand things around us was uh, in the form of narrative. And narrative are not, uh, you know, so to speak, uh, uh, formalistic explanations about about you know about things. Uh, these are, you know, rather, uh, uh, you know. Like the, the, these are, uh, you know, a very different kind of, you know, attempts at uh, trying to explain uh, human situation, where you know we we sort of we take uh, human situation you know, to a different level altogether, and you know we start creating myths. Myths, you know, are again, uh, 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 you know, carry with themselves uh, some kind of. Uh, some kind of an effort to understand, uh, you know, the human situation, different aspects of human situation, the absurdity at times of of uh, of uh, you know are, are being there in the world, and 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 so on and so forth. So when we look look at uh, some of these earliest epics, uh, like like Odyssey. We come across narratives which uh, you know are not completely divorced from uh, 
the life, the you know lived experience, human life as such. Uh, what we find here is that uh, there is an attempt to understand human situation, what uh, you know, human predicament uh, through through uh, myths. Now, myths, uh, you know, are 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 sort of uh, are attempts to understand what goes on in our lives. Uh, some of you know the the the, the uh, uh, kind of uh, metaphysical questions that we the, that we you know get confronted with. Uh, say, for example, the failures in life. Uh, you know, the 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 fact that uh, you know the the mundaneness of life. Uh, the fact that you know, at the end of the day, we don't seem to be going. We don't seem to be headed in any particular direction. Everydayness of things and and so on and so forth. So when we look at these, you know, some of these uh, uh, facts about life, uh, you know, one of the best way it seems uh, for us to understand them is uh, to, you know, understand them through myths. So, you know, we look at, when we look at Greek myths, you know, if we come across characters like uh, Sisyphus, uh, you know, which, who, who characterizes our attempt to to you know, try and understand, try you know, and 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 sort of put a, a stone at the top of a, of a big you know stone that that Sisyphus you know pushes and tries to place it uh, at the at the at the top of a mountain. But uh, just about you know the time when he's uh, you know reaching the mountain top, the 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 stone comes falling back. So this is, uh, you know, this is like uh, this. This is an attempt to to understand, uh, you know, the 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 failure, human failure. Each day, uh, you know, we see don't seem to be sort of, uh, you know. Uh, we, we seem to be feeling to make a headway towards you know any any definite goal that we might have projected for ourselves, and so on and so forth. So earliest attempts were you know uh, in a certain way uh, were uh, were early, early attempts at trying to understand uh, human situation and human predicament uh, were so much rooted in 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 the reality of of lived experience and the attempts were made you know in a very different way to to understand uh, you know who we are why we are here and and you know so on and so forth uh, and these attempts uh, you know the important char- characteristic of you know these attempts through myths uh, and, and 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 through literature was that uh, we didn't quite, you know, divorce these, uh, these, you know, these attempts at understanding from uh, hum- human situation as such. Uh, you know, so human situation, human predicament, uh, you know, our lived experiences were always, uh, you know, at the back of uh, these, uh, you know, these these uh, attempts to understand uh, the existence, our existence in the world through uh, through uh, myths so uh, there were no absolutely you know so to speak formal attempts at 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 trying to trying to you know understand uh uh, uh, trying to understand, uh, you know, some of the uh, metaphysical problems and their answers. So, as a matter of fact, no answers are being sought. Yet, you know, uh, some kind of an understanding is offered, uh, you know, through myths. Myths uh, don't seem to be an answer to something, but you know, they are images which are larger than life, uh, but uh, but at the same time related to life in the sense that these, uh, you know, these myths seem to be attempting answers to to some of the to some of the uh, metaphysical questions, to some of the sort of uh, very important, significant philosophical questions that you know we we ask about uh, uh, human lives, human life as such. Uh, but you know later on, uh, what we find is that uh, you know narratives are entirely given up, and uh, it you know it, it paves way for uh, human observation. Where we observe things, we observe, and, and you know there is there is a plura- plurality of things that is suggested, particularity of things you know that is suggested in 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 our experience of the world, and uh, you know we want to, but uh, at the level of philosophy, uh, we want uh, you know we are not so much concerned about the particularities of things. We want to have uh, you know an explanation cutting across. Uh, you know the particularities of 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 uh, of things. So we want you know to have explanations which are more universal in nature, which explain you know the the nature of not this individual thing or that individual thing, but the nature of things as such. So you know we want uh, in philosophy we are looking for more. Uh, 
uh, uh, you know overarching explanations we are looking for uh, you know broader uh, more universal explanations uh, which which you know, which would cut across uh, 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 space and time uh, particularities, so to speak. So, in in you know in in, in when we look at the history of uh, thought, history of ideas, we find that you know some of the earliest attempts are made in Greece uh, regarding this. Uh, you know, so some of the early Greek uh, thinkers were. Uh, were relying on their observation of things and they wanted to have uh, you know some kind of explanation in uh, in in some kind of single formulaic uh, uh, you know way so they wanted to have a you know single formula which would explain uh, uh, the variety of things uh, uh, in the universe and that explanation has to be something of the kind that should that must be observable uh, that you know that that must be available to us uh, you know for for observation so one of the earliest thinkers in that line uh, Thales thought that probably uh, since you know but water is the most uh, for most uh, you know sort of uh, water is you know one of the one of the things that we find uh, in different forms and yet you know it is one single uh, you know uh, 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 compound it was thought to be an element at that time so you know one simple kind of uh, you know an object an entity uh, could 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 you know could exist in gaseous form uh, you know without a structure so to speak without any definite shape it could exist as a fluid and it could also exist as a solid mass so thales thought uh, you know water probably is a true representative of you know what the single formulaic explanation should look like so you know cutting across uh, you know different shapes and sizes different uh, you know kind of particularities that we find in in uh, human experience in our observation uh, water you know seems to be sort of you know something that that can sustain through uh, through you know uh, varieties of, of of you know these changes so so some of these uh, earliest thinkers uh, uh, in the Greece, uh, want to look at uh, you know the world and want to come up uh, with an explanation of the world uh, you know in in this fashion. Uh, but things you know start to change uh, with uh, an important thinker uh, in in, in uh, you know in, in in Greek philosophy, uh, Pythagoras. Pythagoras, uh, you know, uh, had a very different way of looking at the world. So he imagined the world in in terms of pure ideas. So uh, for him, you know, things that existed, uh, you know, in the world were basically nothing but but ideas uh, with their different possible associations. So for him, I mean, he would call you know these numbers, uh, the, these these ideas in their pure formalistic aspect as numbers. So for I, for him, uh, you know, like the world consisted of you know these pure ideas. It was a mere concrete manifestation of of ideas, and ideas in their pure formalistic form exist as numbers. And different objects, uh, you know, complex objects uh, that that you know appear before us with with different kinds of uh, and degrees of complexities, are nothing but you know these complexities arise because uh, you know these ideas are are found associated uh, in 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 these objects, uh, be you know in, in in certain systematic definite ways, which is you know for us to discover. So, all the different shapes, uh, you know, different things that we see around us are nothing but, but you know, ideas uh, put together, uh, you know, in, in different ways. And when we observe them closely enough, we'll start finding what kind of relationships exist, uh, you know, in what, in, in, uh, what kind of things and what kind of, uh, you know, uh, other things, those don't exist, but, you know, some kind of new other uh, associations, you know, exist in some other, uh, you know, objects. So this is how he would, uh, you know, he, he wanted to look at the world. So now with Pythagoras, 
you know we go a kind of a step above from from you know like uh, the universe the world as it you know appears to us at as, as as you know we find it given to us in our uh, you know experience and the way you know uh, it has to uh, uh, you know the and the and the and the way it has to kind of you know like i mean exist uh, if it if it if there is any system about it so as as philosophers what we are looking for is you know our, our systematic accounts of the world and uh, pythagoras uh, takes a huge huge leap forward uh, in that direction by proposing that uh, that that you know the world around us is nothing but you know but but different structures uh, you know manifestation of different structures and structures are nothing but basically uh, you know different ideas which get associated and tangled with each other in certain definite ways and uh, you know if we if we if we, if we analyze it we'll find what kind of uh, associations you know exist between uh, among ideas what kind of you know how they they in what shapes and patterns uh, you know uh, in what different ways they are related to each other we can come up with uh, formulas and you know through those formulas uh, and and you know everything in the world uh, ultimately could be reduced to those formulaic uh, you know uh, or mathematical explanations of of the world so now uh, why pythagoras is important uh, you know from for, for us from the point of view of history of ideas from the point of view of our understanding of modernism and postmodernism debate is because here we are looking for you know pythagoras takes a huge leap forward as i said in the direction of finding you know uh, a, a kind of one systematic formulation uh for, of you know explanation regarding how the world is so uh, some kind of a unitary uh, definite overarching uh you know definition uh, you know explanation of what and how the world is and uh, so you know now now sort of you know we we could we could uh, sort of uh, the, the, we we uh, we were looking at the history of uh, you know greek ideas uh, to understand why you know for philosophy how philosophy is different from certain other kind of explanations which uh, which don't want to make a huge jump forward from human experiences so you know human experience has a certain complexities about itself and as philosophers you know when we start uh, you know looking for uh, definite structures definite uh, you know explanations from lake explanations it it is a huge leap forward so to speak now uh but you know the idea of modernism uh, emerges uh in 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 a in a completely different socio political milieu we'll come back to you know sort of how uh, uh, the idea of modernism is concerned with the idea of method with the idea of systematic explanation of things uh and how sort of in the idea of method and and uh, system explain systematic explanation is you know is it something that is embedded uh, that's 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 the backbone of of you know, the idea of modernism but if we look at uh, the the uh, you know uh, the idea of postmodernism in its uh, along with the socio political milieu we find that uh, greeks you know created some of the finest structures some of the finest uh, you know arch- architectural feats uh, in the form of uh, you know huge uh, structures like colosseum uh, in in rome which was a huge uh, uh you know uh, archaeological structure and uh, even after uh, you know 2000 years newer and newer things are being discovered about about you know this this uh, uh, huge archaeological feat and 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 you know uh, it must have required some kind of uh, mathematical calculation before you know, it was constructed and so on and so forth but when you look at the history uh, we find that uh, now uh, from uh, you know early greek period uh, up to 11th 12th 13th 14th century uh, we don't find uh, a lot of uh, big development uh, you know big progress in terms of ideas uh, say for example whether it was architecture after after colosseum which was something like 2000 years back uh, we don't find uh, many 
you know, big archaeological structures, uh, you know, coming up uh, for a very, very long uh, period of time. So the kind of feats that were performed by Greeks, by Egyptians, uh, Mesopotamians, uh, you know, th- was a couple of thousands of years back, for a long time we don't see uh, those feats uh, happening, uh, e- even in even in the realm of, uh, you know. Uh, the the uh, the area of medicine for a long time uh, a single person Galen uh, uh, who 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 sort of uh, who studied human body and and you know who who sort of uh, proposed certain ideas about human body he drastically reduced the number of deaths uh, you know that number of casualties that were occurring in in, in different wars during Greek times. So he was one of the authorities, one of the earliest authorities on 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 the subject of uh, of health and medicine. So we find that for a very long time, for nearly a thousand years, uh, people you know concerned with health used the same books which Galen had written uh, one thousand years back. So for a long time, we don't find uh, you know anything happening, and uh, the main reason for that is considered uh, to be uh, to be you know a deliberate attempt to associate uh, all different uh, disciplines of inquiry with religion. So for a long time what was happening was uh, due to dominance of Christianity, uh, every, the source of everything was considered nothing but religion. So religion, you know, there, w- there was this hierarchy of thought at the top was religion. And uh, religion was source of uh, religious ideas were in the source of our understanding of politics, our understanding of society, and our understanding of, uh, you know, uh, different events in the world. So, if the Bible says that uh, there is a definite beginning in time, world was created, it has a definite, uh, you know, beginning, uh, in, you know, at a point of time, then any idea that goes contrary to it, uh, any, uh, say for example, you know, idea of time, which is cyclic in nature, which talks about infinity, uh, you know, uh, uh, would would be would you know would be something that would be uh, that would go against the biblical idea, and therefore would not be taken seriously. Similarly, you know, uh, uh, a person has a right to rule. Uh, because uh, he has been divine, he has been chosen by the divine. So he's, uh, you know, he's, he's the person that who's, 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 you know, like he's a he's a chosen person. He's uh, the person chosen by the God. So the different ideas, whether it was politics, whether it was society. I mean, if, if you, even your sort of like most uh, intimate of your, uh, you know, things, like like you know, if, if you like, say for example, guilt. If if you if you are thinking if you are not sure about you know sort of rightness or wrongness ethically speaking you know uh, rightness or wrongness of an action, then you what you do I mean it creates a dilemma you start you know asking yourself question but you know uh, that was sort of in a certain way even scope for that space for that uh, intimate uh, kind of reflection about about you know your dilemmas uh, was not allowed because you know there was a space for that in 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 the church so you go and and make a confession uh, to to the priest and priest brings an end to your dilemma if 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 you know if you if if you're confronted with something something that you don't seem to understand then you know you don't have to you don't need to really think about it because uh, you are nobody to think uh, you know because all the answers are already there in the bible so so you just need to approach the priest and there'll be the end of your dilemma so uh, independent inquiries uh, uh, and and you know coming up with with uh, with answers was not uh, uh, was not an activity which uh, was uh, appreciated for a long period of time and uh, you know for the first time uh, uh, you know we find uh, some kind of unrest about it uh, you know, we we hear certain voices uh, in 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 especially in Italy uh, during a period which we call Renaissance. So what was happening was, you know, for a long time, people in Rome were you know looking at uh, some of these marvels around them in the form of Colosseum, in the form of you know several other theater, you know, several other buildings, uh, you know, which were constructed during Rome ta- Roman early Greek Roman times. 
and they were you know wondering why for a long time i mean those those buildings uh, you know those huge archi- pieces of architecture uh, made them feel very small i mean you know they they they, they were they were not in a position to to you know to construct uh, something of the same kind they were not you know in a position to engage themselves uh, you know in an activity of 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 uh, you know s- of such a huge dimension so for a long time i mean uh, they, 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 there were not much progress that was visible in in terms of uh, you know ideas and and uh, you know there there was there's there, there, there was a growing unrest about it uh, the you know which which we, you know the voices which gets a voice uh, which starts to get a voice uh, you know around around uh, uh, you know the time when when uh, uh, a certain part of europe was was witnessing what we call uh, renaissance renaissance you know saw an attempt to to kind of uh, you know the, the 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 very sort of you know this this prefix re suggests that you know there was uh, there was uh, there was uh, there was a desire to to you know to attempt uh, you know to to reconstruct the magic you know that they were seeing around them all the time the the architectural marvels you know that they were surrounded uh, italians you know were were surrounded all the time vivid so you know they wanted to sort of recreate uh, that magic and they wanted to sort of you know uh, they wanted to attempt to to you know to reconstruct uh, those uh, those uh, those uh, you know those those buildings and and so on and so forth and uh, and that required you know thinking of a kind which was uh, you know which had to be free from religious dogmas which required you know a kind of mathematics which would you know which was directed towards a particular goal and which was you know not fettered by by certain other external forces like religion so we'll talk uh, more about uh, this uh, in a moment uh, so we'll take a short break uh, thank you Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, welcome back viewers. So we were talking about uh, uh, postmodernism and uh, and and uh, you know since since uh, understanding postmodernism requires uh, you know first of all understanding what exactly you know is 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 uh, is, is, is sort of you know is is uh, involved when we talk about modernism. What 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 are we talking about? You know postmodernism basically means uh, posting or you know sort of time after uh, a certain kind of uh, you know. Uh, certain kind of dominant idea. So before we understand postmodernism, it's important for us to understand what what exactly is you know is is is, uh, is meant by by or what exactly is the idea behind uh, modernism. And in that line now uh, we, we were talking about and we were trying to look at you know different uh, different ways we could attempt at understanding you know the nature of the world and, and you know human situation issues you know concerning uh, uh, our lived experiences and so on and so forth. And in that line we saw that how uh, one, you know, one dominant idea in philosophy is, for that matter, you know, in, even in science, is to have one sim, you know, one single unitary uh, uh, explanation uh, about about things, which you know, which cuts across uh, time and space uh, particularities, which you know, cuts across uh, specificities, uh, you know, of, of of different things. So in that line, we saw how sort of you know uh, like uh, for some of the earliest attempts were in the form of uh, story writing uh, through myths, uh, you know, through images, through symbols, and then we you know we wanted to have more uh, sort of formal uh, formalistic kind of explanations, and we saw you know in a certain way the culmination of that happening in in Pythagoras. But uh, from the point of view of uh, you know uh, like uh, uh, from from the point of view of socio political milieu, I mean, the, we we uh, we associate uh, you know the term modernism uh, with with uh, certain events that occurred uh, in in Europe at a particular time, and uh, in that line we saw that how for a long period of time in in, in Europe. All the different inquiries. I mean, one was not supposed to, you know, think freely. One was not supposed to initiate an inquiry into the nature of things. Uh, you know, completely free from any external influences. So, you know, the idea is that that as a philosopher, as as scientists, as thinkers. We want to know the actual nature of of uh, of the world, the actual nature of things, and for that, uh, you know, we we need to just uh, sort of observe nature in in a completely unbiased way, without you know any influence from from any other sphere. But that was not allowed, uh, you know, to happen for because due to religious influences. If your observation suggests something that is contrary. That is not in consonance with uh, with you know the already held biblical beliefs, with the already held you know religious beliefs. Then, uh, there, then you know you are not allowed to put forward uh, that that you know that uh, conjecture, that theory of yours. So for a long time, for nearly a period of more than thousand years. Uh, you know, no, no sort of this, such independent uh, inquiries were were uh, supposedly uh, taking place, and what happens is that in Renaissance, uh, in, in, you know, especially in Italy, uh, you know, there's an attempt to recreate, uh, you know, the the the, the feats, the marvels, uh, you know, the architectural sort of uh, feats that that. Uh, that Greek uh, Greeks and Romans uh, performed, uh, you know, thousand, one thousand years earlier. So that required again, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, looking uh, back uh, at at science, looking back at mathematics, with uh, in an in an in a completely unfettered way. So uh, you know, there was there was uh, sort of all of a sudden, uh, you know, spurt uh, in 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 the, in the progress of ideas. We find. Uh, uh, one of the sort of universities opening in in uh, in 
in Italy where uh, you know it is allowed to to dissect the human body you know to find out uh, you know the the what actually is in there for a long time for nearly thousand years it was not it was considered irreligious to to perform any dissections on on human bodies and therefore uh, you know uh, it was never known what how human body functions how human body works and unless we know that uh, you know we 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 cannot have a better health system we cannot have a better system of medicines and and so on so uh, we start you know we we start we we see things kind of opening up in that direction in the direction of independent inquiry uh you know starting with renaissance and then you know, we find we when we then we see uh, uh, french revolution which was also you know bloody in nature uh, it it sort of uh, a lot of blood was dissipated but uh you know it 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 was attempted at you know to free to free the state from uh, you know to free politics from the clutches of uh, uh from clutches of of religion and we saw we see you know another culmination of it happening in england uh, you know where 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 parliament uh, uh completely uh, divorces itself from the church so you know parliament uh the place of uh you know government uh were, you know becomes completely independent of of the church so church is uh, you know there for uh, for you know all your personal kind of belief systems uh, whatever but when it comes to politics uh, you know it has to be through through you know through chosen leadership uh, and and so on and so forth so once uh, the, the the you know the free thinking was initiated uh, inquiry was uh, you know freed from uh, the 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 clutches of of uh, religion uh, there was uh, all of a sudden uh, uh, a different kind of revolution that occurred in 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 the in the, in the progress of ideas now uh, you know scientists uh, could could you know work in the direction that was that you know that their research was suggesting even if it was uh, it it was something that is that goes contrary to to you know the to to the biblical beliefs to to the ideas you know that we find in different religions so you know the, so an independent inquiry into the nature of things could be initiated uh, scientists started doing that they started put for putting forth you know uh, putting forth theories ideas uh, as it emerged from uh, you know observation uh, through their calculations and and so on and so forth so uh, their their the their conformity with the earlier held belief was not an issue so all of a sudden i mean uh, the earlier kind of uh, dogmatic thinking where you know you hold on to certain set of ideas uh, without any reasons uh, without any independent you know sort of reasons uh, of their own uh, that is called dogmatism so all of a sudden uh, this period that we call period of enlightenment uh, you know has something unique about it in the sense that uh, you know now we 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 uh, we are uh, sort of uh, we are discovering inventing things we are making ideas progress uh without without caring about uh, you know whether it is uh, conforming to any other authority at all so there was an independence progress of ideas that was allowed and once that was done uh it, there was a, a quantum leap uh you know uh, in 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 the way the ideas uh, started uh, progressing and uh, as a result what happens is you know in in philosophy also we find a certain kind of uh, you know change in the way we uh, we uh, inquire about things and uh, one important philosopher in that respect was descartes rene descartes uh, you know a french philosopher a french mathematician uh, who thought uh, you know that uh, ideas uh, uh, you know like i mean since we are looking as philosophers we are looking for final answers so uh, you know history of uh, uh, you know the, the progress of ideas uh, has to you know the edifice of knowledge so to speak uh first of all has to rely on certain firm foundations so you know uh, for 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 the progress of knowledge first of all what you require is firm foundation something that would be you know that would be absolutely immune 
to any kind of uh, you know any, any kind of uh, sort of you know uh, onslaughts of of reasoning so something that would be irrefutable something that would be absolutely uh, you know uh, uh, absolutely sort of uh, valid absolutely sort of you know established so uh, according to descartes we'll have to first of all discover you know some some sort of uh, some uh, foundational uh, you know uh, beliefs which would be which would be absolutely certain which have which which would have you know, like some kind of absoluteness about them and after discovering you know certain of these uh, you know Uh, knowledge propositions we could construct further and further upon them uh, and and you know this is how knowledge could further progress but first of all we require uh, you know uh, certain you know sort of pieces of knowledge which would defy uh, you know any attempt at at you know directed at at uh, their refutation so which would be uh, indubitable you know his his criteria was that these foundations will have to be beyond any doubt so what could be that something so he says since these propositions have to be beyond the scope of doubt therefore these have to be indubitable and in order to find what is indubitable we'll have to start doubting everything all knowledge that we have already with us so he starts doubting everything that could ever be doubted starting from starting from the sense experience so he says uh, sense, sense experience has nothing certain about it because it it changes you know with the object uh, with the conditions and so on and so forth and also the fact that you know uh, it it may not have any association with reality at all like our dream experiences our dream experiences have nothing as their counterpart in the actual world so he starts you know uh, with with doubting our sense experiences and reaches a point uh, where uh, finally he reaches a point where he says he cannot doubt any further and what is that point uh, that point is called he he calls it cogito ego sum the fact that uh, you know doubt is also a form of thinking and the final you know something that that cannot be doubted any further is that i think because when i you when i sort of say that i don't think that is also an instantiation of thinking so even the denial of thinking is in a, is is an instance of thinking therefore thinking is something which is re reified even it's in its denial which is proved even through even when it is denied even in its denial it is something that is further proved so that i am thinking is something that you know that is only further reified through its denial and therefore it is something that is beyond doubt and we could construct you know our knowledge structures further upon it and not only this he also you know sort of gave us an idea very importantly an idea of method and his uh, you know work is called the discourse on method so you know as a philosopher he be, as a philosopher he believed that whatever problem that we take up he was a mathematician so he suggested that you know whatever problem uh, you know we may be dealing with we first break it into smaller problems smaller manageable problems and we construct solutions to them and through that by you know sort of solving those small problems we lead up to uh, you know bigger questions and and this is how you know we should approach so so uh, you know the idea of a method you know which which would we have certain kind of you know definite structure which you know we, this method would be such that uh, anybody who follows that method would find you know the same definite results so this method would have you know a, some kind of a definite structure to it which would remain unchanged despite you know the change irrespective of the person who's you know sort of who's who's attempting uh, you know uh, problem solving through those methods so math uh, you know a particular method a systematic uh, sort of you know account of something 
or a methodical account of something would be something you know which would be completely impervious uh, to to you know the kind of person who's engaging in that method so irrespective of you know who is who is doing the calculation who is uh, sort of you know performing the calculation the results are always going to be the same if you have followed the method correctly so this idea of methodical explanation of things uh, a systematic explanation of things the idea of a method which whenever followed would give us consistent results uh, across you know whatever kind of other particularities uh, you know uh, that would maybe that may exist uh, you know among knowers and so on and so forth that that you know was a new kind of thinking that emerged during enlightenment and uh, and you know th- there was another idea that emerged which was you know the idea that that we were, you know at the center it's not the divine but at the center is the human being the experiences of a human being the human situation the human problems the human issues which do, you know which we should be concerned about and now with you know we are empowered with you know this this uh, you know the power of method with the power of uh, you know newly discovered uh, uh you know newly discovered sort of observational thinking uh and 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 so on and so forth so this new idea you know in in which 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 we rested upon uh, human capability uh you know the 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 power uh, you know of ideas was called humanism that you know as human beings we are capable and we can define a course for ourselves so earlier in the idea was that there is a definite course of history like you know like the bible suggests you know there would be a day of judgment where if we have led our lives in accordance with the biblical beliefs then we would be awarded and if we have uh, you know we will be awarded positively and if we haven't lived our lives in accordance you know with with the biblical principles then you know a certain other kind of results would accrue so their history you know according to this idea was going to take a definite course now that idea is put aside uh in favor of you know the idea propounded by humanism according to which it is we who define things it is the human situation you know which which defines uh, you know the course of history we according to you know our predicaments uh, and you know the novelty you know like i mean of of uh, human predicament each each moment uh, you know we uh, based on that uh, we would decide which course the history of, should take so now the course of history all of a sudden is you know is in 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 our hand so human beings are at the center and through their nearly discovered you know power of ideas uh we were in position to define the course of history so we thought now you know we could we could think make things better for us we could define the world for ourselves and we could make it a better world for us to be and you know world was uh, now onward going to go only in a better and better direction but then uh you know this this i this idea you know which 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 was the hallmark of modernism uh, you know that that uh, like uh, based on uh, uh, you know free observation based on you know sort of uh, free progress of ideas uh, we could you know take the course of history in our hand met with uh with with you know certain events uh, historical events which created a lot of suspicion about uh, you know the idea that were contained uh, you know within within the broader idea of modernism and uh, you know these these uh, events were uh, you know the events that took place in uh, 1914 and 1939 and and uh, you know these events that we you know we are referring to here are obviously uh, two world wars which resulted in s- sort of in in huge amount of causalities it was not that earlier uh, wars were not fought but not at this scale because now you know we were uh, we were sort of uh, we were powered we were accompanied with uh, new technologies we new kind of warfare uh, new you know weapons of uh, mass destruction as they are called and uh, you know we were in a new position where we could uh, kill uh, you know uh, millions of people through just one weapon 
So, so, but you know, this was not uh, the kind of human situation. This was not the predicament that uh, modernism had, uh, you know, had 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 uh, sort of uh, foreseen. This was not the kind of events uh, in in the history that. Uh, that we were, we thought we were looking forward to with with you know with uh, now when we thought we were ready to define the course of history we took it you know in a direction which was uh, absolutely shocking for us and the results were you know everywhere around us around 2 lakh people die in in one country alone uh, in in japan in two different uh, at two different places in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and uh, not to mention uh, uh, sort of um, um, uh, a huge number, I mean, several times the casualties that took place in Japan, uh, you know, took place, uh, you know, Jews were killed, uh, you know, those casualties uh, in the form of killing of Jews and, and so on and so forth. That was something unprecedented and created a lot of suspicion uh, among the thinkers, uh, you know, around that time among, uh, you know, among artists, thinkers, uh, you know, belonging to different branches of, of, uh, of, of uh, belonging to different disciplines, different branches of thinking. So, uh, so you know, all those branches, uh, all these disciplines of thinking now had to find a new way for themselves, had to find a new direction for themselves because these were not the results that they they were looking forward to and the suspicion about the modernist project the humanist project uh, you know the idea that that uh, human beings as human beings we are good enough uh, we are uh, you know good enough to define the course of history for ourselves uh, it was natural for us to start suspecting uh, you know this this uh, this kind of thought and as a result, what started happening was that that you know that uh, thinkers, whether those were artists, uh, you know, uh, literature, or any stream of of uh, uh, any any discipline that you talk about, so it it uh, startlingly you know like I mean surprisingly new ideas uh, started taking shape. So the idea of unitary explanations start, you know, idea like, you know, that, that sort of, uh, that, uh, that was bequeathed to us by, say, for example, Hegel. Hegel thought that, you know, that rationality, reason has a definite, uh, you know, has a definite uh, course. It takes a definite course and results, you know, and would ultimately at one point, at you know some fine day it would result in some kind of universal enlightenment and it's going to take a definite history in time that idea comes under suspicion because you know reason the kind of idea that reason started uh, you know sort of uh, offering to us uh, which you know culminated in hegel who thought that reasoning has a definite structure to it in the sense of uh, thesis antithesis and synthesis synthesis which in turn you know becomes a thesis and this is how uh, you know there's a science to it there's a definite structure to our thinking that he calls wissenschaft and it is going to result you know and it has a, an inner kind of a propelling system that he calls uh, you know spirit or jaist and uh, and he thought it would result you know ultimately in what he calls universal enlightenment and reason according to him had an independent you know sort of uh, uh, independent propulsion system of its own irrespective of uh, you know uh, individualities uh, you know irrespective of individuals uh, you know that constitute uh, in, in individuals, you know, who think. So it's it's a kind of thinking independent of the thinkers. So this kind of idea again, you know, so such ideas start coming under suspicion because these ideas again, you know, started uh, resulting in some other kind of total. Uh, totalities, some other kind of totalitarianisms, you know, which were uh, sort of, uh, you know, which were uh, of a different kind, which were not, you know, of the religious kind, but were, you know, uh, what, 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 but, you know, were binding in, in, in the same sense, in the sense that, you know, individual was somewhere lost. So, you know, individual particularities had, you know, no place to to you know to 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 to, to exist you know with with some amount of seriousness so after hegel 
there were a series of uh, you know philosophers starting from Schopenhauer to 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 Nietzsche to to uh, Foucault to Derrida to uh, to Baudrillard to and then so on and so forth now these thinkers were highly suspicious of you know the project of rationality in the sense that uh, you know Schopenhauer who existed around the same time as Hegel he started you know, expressing the view that when we observe nature there is no structure that suggests itself to us what we find in nature is brute force you know which was also which is was which is also something that we saw unleashing in 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 uh, two world wars so if you look at the world it's only uh, a never ending search f- to siege power powerful you know mutilating uh, you know uh, uh, the 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 weaker and you know sort of uh, and pushing him or her into insignificance this is what we actually see in happening in the world so he says world is not characterized by any reason if you look at the world if we don't find any reasoning in it instead what we find is brute force brutality there is some kind of what he calls will will which does not admit to any definite structures about itself so according to him the only thing you know what our observation of the world suggests to us is that in the world there is some kind of brute force that operates you know people are looking for power animals people whoever uh, is looking for power and the powerful you know sort of progresses more and weak have to you know perish and that is the only order if there were to be any and there is a will which you know take which is constantly taking itself forward but this will is impervious is you know is 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 impervious to any notions that we have always held dear any methodical notions of you know say for example of what is right to do let's say for example you know right thing to do or or you know what is the wrong thing to do it is impervious to our notions of morality uh, of of you know of sort of helping out the poor and so on and so forth so there is nothing in the universe or in the world around us which suggests to us you know which is which strengthens our notions regarding morality uh, and then so on and so forth so any robust ideas regarding you know uh, the rightness or wrongness of human actions any robust ideas you know sort of regarding uh, regarding you know other spheres of life are not forthcoming instead what we see is a will which is you know which is completely unstructured unordered which is brute in nature and uh, this seems to be the fact about the world and he says uh, this results in a mood of tragedy we really don't know how to understand the world because there is no structure to it and this is something that goes absolutely contrary to the earlier hegelian notion so viewers uh, in this in this lecture because of uh, you know the paucity of time we have already been able to we have only been able to look at uh, you know uh, how uh, the 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 particular system of thought uh, based on reasoning independent reasoning resulted in 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 a system of thought which you know in which in itself started appearing in a certain way totalitarian and which gave us certain historical re- results which uh, you know we which were not something we were looking forward to and therefore certain kind of suspicion started growing we'll talk further about this uh, in our uh, next lecture in this series thank you uh, on that note i would like to thank sir for this very interesting thank discussion you. and thank you dear friends for watching our show stay tuned and keep watching thank you